all new 2017 Mini Cooper is one of the most recognizable shapes on the road today, especially this convertible one. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's truly gorgeous to look at and it's universally fun to drive. Now its interior has thankfully evolved from its quirky beginnings to its relatively useful and meaningful design today. Although its exterior was overhauled two years ago, you'd be hard pressed to spot any real differences. Now the Cooper comes in several different flavors, all of which can be customized to your budget. I mean, we're talking about the Cooper, Cooper S. This is right here is the Cooper S, as you can see right there in the bag badging. Uh, we have the Conver uh, Cooper convertible, which this is also, and we have the Clubman. Now the Cooper and the C Cooper S are also offered in, in, in a four door, which is standard on the Clubman, though the Clubman is the only Cooper available in the all wheel drive. And all wheel drive is pretty essential, at least to me, but, this is more of a, a summer car, depending on where you are in the world. Now, these three turbocharged uh, powertrains are, you know, they're available in the Cooper, okay? The base turbocharged 1.5 liter three cylinder makes the uh, 124 horsepower and is very fun to drive. And the turbocharged 2.0 liter inline four in the Cooper S model, which you see here, it does 189 horsepower, but many outkicks its own coverage. So at the top of the 2.1 liter, 2.0 liter, uh, Turbo 4 in the John Cooper Works Edition, which makes 228 horsepower, which is pretty high up there. And uh, it's pretty awesome. Wonderful, warm stray jacket awaiting over all those drivers. I mean, it's awesome. You know, top down, you're cruising. Now the 2017 Mini Cooper has changed most of the inside and largely for the better. The instruments are where you expect them at last. You know, I mean, there, there was some modification and there's some people that didn't really like how they were, but now let's take a look further on the inside. There's like a large tackle meter with a small speedometer uh, hung off its side, sit behind the steering wheel. The round shape in the center of the dash is now exclusively a display screen. The various sizes depending on the trim level and options, flanked by a pair of rectangular air vents. And two large round eyeball vents sit on the exterior on the edge of the dash as you saw right there. The switch gear previously found in arrangement ranging from the marginal to chaotic, I mean it was truly unbelievable, is easier to find now. Okay, so it's more logical to operate. There is still a horizontal row of switches in the central lower dash, but above it there are three more or less standard rotary knobs for the heating and ventilation system. You know, we're going through the door right here. I'm just showing you basic, basic information and how things look inside if you've never seen it inside. Now, passengers still uh, seat deep in the car, okay? They're surrounded by quite a lot of black trim and upholstery, but most of the Mini's beneficial quirks remain, and a lot of the bad ones are gone, making this most livable Mini yet, which is awesome. Now let's talk about the engine power here. The engine again, the base engine, the Mini Cooper is a turbocharged 1.3 liter three cylinder engine that produces 124 horsepower and 162 pounds of torque. The smaller ones run up to uh, you know 60 miles per hour in like 7.4 seconds. Some of you laugh at that, it's slow. Look at the car, super tiny car. You're not having a lot of people go too fast, but I'm sure you can hit the proper speed as you want. Um, as you can see inside, I mean, I just wanted to show you guys a true look inside. It's absolutely beautiful, okay? It's got that nice little compact racing feel. It's, I love it, okay? When you're sitting inside of it, you'll know what I mean. I mean, look, that thing lights up. The start and stop button on the engine is kind of like a flip button. I also like the lever right there. The, it, it was really comfortable inside. The overall space of all the little, um, you know, the little detail on the inside. I think it was proportioned just right. Steering wheel was just okay, and carbon was well. Hey, what's up? My name is Mike, and I am the videographer here at Unique Mechanics. What I want you to do is subscribe to the channel. Here is my logo. It is a subscription button. Make sure you hit it. It'll take you to the following page to subscribe. Why subscribe? So you can get frequent notifications regarding most recent uploaded videos. If it's a car video, if it's a watch video, if you love them, I want you to continue watching them and continue to get notified. Make sure you do so, so I can see you here next time. Thanks for watching.